Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for May 4th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios. And we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit in US dollar. We went actually up nearly 1% when it was basically most. We fell a little bit. We're down 0.59 at this current stage. And we're trading well above the 20 exponential moving average. So we fell drastically on Thursday, rather a little bit on, on Friday. And today we just catalyzed this to the to the to the upside. So main reason why this basically fell is because the US dollar appreciated significantly in the end of last week. And today, and today it basically fell by nearly 0.70%, give or take. If you look at technical negative for the US, uh, uh, British pound and US dollar, we can see that MACD is about to cross the signal line in the continuous bullish momentum. RSI is flat. The CCI is technically flat at this current stage. As stochastic is very bearish. We can see that we are way up, uh, above the middle of the Bullinger Band and are most likely going to head towards the top of the Bullinger Band. So that is the previous highs and that is going to be where this is going to be really difficult to get through. So we can see that we have tested it here, 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 also you know, two weeks ago, to give or take. And last week we got close to it and then just broke down. So if we break 1400, uh, 1400, uh, 90, then we could go significantly higher, but that is going to be the test. A breakdown from here, the 100 moving average has offered massive support. So let's look at the US dollar and Japanese yen. Also here, we basically broke down. Last week was a really good rally. We rallied roughly 1.72%, and today we're down 0.42%. We're getting very overstretched here, and that's probably the reason why we basically are falling towards the middle of the bullish band. Doesn't mean that we are going to fall apart here. We are finding support at the 20 exponential and we're landing right at the moment around at the 50 moving average. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly bearish at this point. MACD is on um, zero at, at this current stage, but it's leveling off. So we could turn around and head towards the downside. RSI is um, has bearish momentum. The CCI is still bullish and the stochastic is bullish, but it is turning around quite aggressively here. So if we break below the middle of the bullish band, we could see this drop to the very bottom. That's a drop of roughly 1.45%, and that will also head us back towards these previous lows. If we break above this candlestick here, then we could head back towards the previous highs, and that's a rally of roughly 1.22%. So let's look at the euro, US dollar, and as you can see, we have very similar to the Great British Pound US dollar, but not as aggressive. We did fall at the end of last week and found support down here at the 20 exponential. And then we today we rallied. We're up 0.34% and we found support here in the middle of the Bullinger Band. And after this, it may well be that we'll go back towards the top of the Bullinger Band. And uh, 1220 is going to be our next term, long term, or our next target. It will take um, probably a few weeks in order to get to that point if we are going there. A break below the middle of the bullish band, well, that could open the door all the way down to the 50 moving average or even below the 50 moving average at the bottom of the bullish band, uh, minus at the minus 1.05%. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is still in bullish territory, but crossing the signal line indicating bearish momentum. RSI is flat, CCI is flat, stochastic is very bearish indeed at this point. So a break below the bottom uh, middle of the bullish band here could send this to where the bottom, where we should find massive support. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. Also here, a major rally is up a half a percent. If you look at technical indicator, we can see that the MACD is flat, the CCI is flat, stochastic is technically flat, and the uh, CCI is flat, and the stochastic is very bearish indeed. We found support here at the middle of the bullish band, and uh, we are now trading just above the middle of the bullish band. And we could, if we take out these, this candlestick here, could send this up towards the top of the bullish band. That's a rally of another 0.92%. Uh, so we have had an area here which has been fairly problematic in order to get through. You can see that we have tested it several times. We can get a little bit lower than we have tested it several times, and we have not managed to get through 0 0.78%. Uh, if we manage to get through that, then we could head towards uh, 0.8%. 80 and then probably to 0 0.90.
break below here, we'll most likely find major support at the 200 moving average as we have bounced off the, the 150 moving average, sorry, as we have bounced off the 150 moving average in the past. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. And as you can see, we are basically right in the middle of things. We didn't, we haven't broken down all the way down towards the bottom. And uh, at the moment, we're just trending sideways and have been trending sideways the last four days. So technical indicators are still extremely bearish. And uh, there, are, there are signs that they may turn around. For example, RSI is at the 27 and we're basically at the bottom of the bullish band. So we could see this rally towards the 20 exponential, which will move this way. And we could see a rally of roughly 0.89% um, uh, towards the upside before uh, going back towards the very lows. That mean that the RSI would become higher and will be not be that uh, significantly oversold. But this can also go to single digits. So, so at this current stage, we should find major support down here at this trend line as it has been holding really well in the past. Rally up towards the 50, 20, 40, and the 50, and even the 100 will be major resistant. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see your new videos. And uh, good luck, and thank you very much.